All right, let's draw this again. Take two air signs. All right, so let's see what messages we have. This is for April the 8th, 2020. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April the 8th, 2020. What guidance do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We got three Gemini, and I'm going to read them. First one we have is Goddess of One. So either this is three different messages for you or we got three different groups of Geminis that are going through three different things. So the first one is Goddess of Oneness. It says someone you love is thinking fondly of you at the moment. Okay. We uh, have Angel of Communication. It says communicate clearly. Don't be afraid to tell it like it is. And we have Goddess of the Earth. It says an idea connected to imagination, creativity, and nature is coming your way. I know one of my eyes looks kind of swole it is um i think something i think a mosquito or something bit me yesterday like under my eyelid <laughs> i'm in the south it happens but i've noted like, like yesterday all night it was like stinging um so and it could just be because i was constantly doing this last night like, what the fuck is wrong with my eye all right so let's see what messages we have for libra so y'all don't mind that i'm in the south i'm in the south you know we, we have mosquitoes and bugs and critters and all kind of shit. All right. So we have goddess of justice. This is for Libra. It says what seems an injustice is actually a blessing. It doesn't hurt this morning like at all. But all last night it was fucked up. All right. So let's see what messages we have. This is for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising. All right. So we have God of Reflections. It says the qualities you see in others are simply your own reflection, Aquarius. Okay. The underlying message we have for all of my air signs is Angel of Clearing. It says your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. So let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have? This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April the 8th, 2020. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. April the 8th, 2020. Messages, guidance for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And the only reason why I said something because somebody will be like, oh, what's wrong? You don't look so well. My eyes just will. Um, it's not, I, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I've been fine. There's nothing wrong with me. So we have the nine of cups here with the ace of cups. Okay, so we can take that a couple ways. I feel like um, for some of you guys, you could have an opportunity here to be happy. Especially with the Ace of Cups going to the Nine of Cups. You have an opportunity to make yourself happy in regards to something. Um, the Nine is, a, is about happiness or happy. It's about self-happiness. Shit. Or self-love. It could also be about self-love. Some of you guys have, could have an opportunity here that is being presented to you because you've been in a space of really being loving to yourself really being compassionate to yourself this is second reading so i did get the queen of pentacles underneath there i mean the queen of pentacles the first time underneath there so this could be someone that has been nurturing themselves or needing to nurture themselves you could be in a space of needing to put more love within yourself so we have the king of wands here somebody is focused on happiness full energy here somebody could be in a space of taking a leap of faith hangman here. I feel like someone's perspective is changing. With the Knight of Cups here, there could be an offer that is being made here. Someone's at a crossroads about it. Someone's perspective is changing. I feel like they're focused on someone has an opportunity here. And I feel like someone needs to move in faith. But they could be at a crossroads because they're really trying to make sure that they're going the lighted path or in the right path. But I do feel like with this Knight of Cups or this Messenger of Cups, there could be some messages of love coming in or there could be an offer coming in. My. <laughs> All right. So I never really see it unless because I mean, I look in a mirror, but I don't really see myself until I get in front of this camera, to be honest with you. So. All right. We got the King of Wands here. What messages do we have? 
for this King of Wands. Could be dealing with the fire sign. King of Wands is um, Aries energy, but it could be any masculine fire sign. All right, we have Knight of Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords. Someone's in a hurry here. Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is like escaping, kind of leaving things behind. So someone could be moving forward, maybe leaving some truths behind or leaving something behind. Um, Somebody could be leaving a heartache behind because seven minus ten is three swords. Ten will be the completion. Someone could be escaping heartache or escaping a, a heartbreaking situation. Knight of Wands here really in a space of moving toward their desires. Nine of Cups. So someone is, I feel like someone is leaving a previous heartbreak really focused. I said focused on happiness. Someone is focused on happiness. And yesterday, it's funny because I got an earth sign when I did this reading. Um... When I did the readings yesterday, I mean, when I did the readings today, I got earth signs. Yesterday, the earth sign's title was focused on happiness. And this is someone that is focused on happiness. So you guys could be dealing with an earth sign or you could have that in your chart. With the full energy, with the ace of swords, I'm sorry, with the ace of swords here and this king of swords, I feel like someone knows because they've mastered their own passion. Someone knows what they want and they are going toward it. Full energy here. Why is this full energy here? Full energy is Aquarian energy. But it is also about kind of taking a leap. Having an unexpected um, opportunity. King of Wands. Should be. Some of y'all, either y'all dealing with this King of Wands. Or this is the energy that you're taking. So either you're dealing with a fire sign. Or you're taking on this kind of fiery masculine. King of Wands is masculine, masculine. He, the King, I think the most... Well, all of the kings are very masculine, but, you know, the king of cups is not as action oriented as the king of uh, wands or the king of swords. King of pentacles is more confident than anything. So I feel like the king of swords and the king of wands are the most masculine when it comes to taking the action. All of them are masculine, but the masculine energy of taking action is more prominent way more prominent with the king of wands than with any other king so even within here six of wands full energy someone is in a space of really moving forward six of wands someone's moving forward taking a leap of faith um i feel like someone is the thing about it is four pentacle four so someone's retreating someone's finding their strength to retreat from a situation queen of cups here it's either a situation dealing with a mother energy or someone's in a space of really being loving to themselves and i seen that in this in the other reading that i did but i had to stop the other reading because i i fucked it up i fucked it up um but i do feel like someone is focused kind of taking on taking this leap of faith or taking this new opportunity someone's perspective has changed i feel like someone is and this could be due to either some messages of love meaning someone could be sending messages back and forth and they're starting to see something see their desires or someone is really choosing or seeing what's going to make them happy and choosing that. So we have the hangman, five of cups here. I feel like someone is is really in a space of having some regret. Yeah, Someone's ha someone has some regret about not making a decision to move forward previously. We also got queen of swords here, hermit. I feel like someone was very much inside themselves about making a decision. Their perspective has changed. I feel like there's some regret. Um, five of cups page of ones there's some regret either about not speaking truth or not showing true colors so this could legit be someone that was not being honest about the way that they felt or being honest about something that was happening within inside of them i feel like now someone is in a space of really six of swords seeing that they need to move forward and really focus on what's going to bring or make them happy we got the messenger of cups under here page of pentacles here Queen of Swords here, Seven of Wands. So, Sun underneath here, Sun, Magician, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. I feel like someone has clearly manifested something stable, a new opportunity for something stable. With this Page of Pentacles here, I feel like this is a new investment. Someone is making a decision to invest um, in either sending these messages of love or someone could be in a space of resisting some messages of love. If you're, I feel like if you're dealing with someone 
that is younger acting off of their impulse. You could be in a space of seeing your worth and resisting that, especially if they're sending you messages. I feel like you're taking an opportunity and retreating from that. So for some of you guys, you could be in a space of, yes, focusing on happiness, but in th at the same time. With the same token, resisting something that does not make you happy. I said that someone was in a space of escaping some sort of heartache. I feel like someone could still be holding on. Whoever that you were dealing, either you severed a connection and you got an ex that's kind of holding on to you. And you're in a space of resisting that. Really in a space of wanting to move forward, balancing your emotions, wanting to go toward whatever makes you happy. You could be cutting someone away. I feel like there's still some past energy that is here um, and that you're in a space of really wanting to move away from. I feel like you, you feel you think it's more I think I feel like you think it's sensible to embrace the end of a past situation here. And I do feel like you're more in the space of focused on moving forward um, toward new energy and focusing on things that make you happy forward. So I do feel like with the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, you see the value of cutting away things that do not matter or do not, I don't want to say matter because I feel like that's going to be a very mean thing to say. I feel like you're in the space of cutting away things that are not in the best interest of you. And I do feel like you're standing up for what you believe. And for some of you guys, this could be in regards to sending some sort of offer out or extending a message of love or a message of appreciation or something toward a new type of energy but i definitely feel like for some of you guys you could be receiving some messages and you could be in a space of resisting those because it's from something in your past someone in your past that could be holding on to you you're focused on really moving forward you're focused on happiness and I do feel like whatever this is could have you kind of at a crossroads because you may be in a space of trying to figure out how do I, you're, you already allowed your concerns to fade away with it, but how do I truly escape this situation from the past? So we got two of cups here. Why is this two? I mean, not two of cups. We got two of wands here. I do feel like, for some of you guys, I do feel like you're making a decision. To, I don't feel like you're at a crossroads anymore. Yeah, you're not at the crossroads. Lover's card with the Three of Cups. I feel like you're not choosing. Whoever this is of the past that is hanging on to you, you're not choosing them. You see, you got the Six of Cups under here. Dang it. There you go. You see, you got the Six of Cups under there. Two of Swords here. Two of Wands. Tower. You're very much in the space of releasing that. Coming into your own dominion. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've established your strength. Five Wands. You see that that situation or whatever that was of the past creates conflict. So you're most definitely focused now on really moving forward. You're wanting to escape that situation. You have something new that you're really wanting to move toward. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, that's what you're choosing. You have clarity. So I do feel like you're 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 lighting your own path now. I'm, I'm definitely seeing that. All right, so let's see here. <clears throat> uh Pour me some water. My throat dry. <laughs> I probably ain't because I haven't. I usually drink a big old jug of water or have my water over here. But it's not here. I just told my kids to pour me some water and they are asleep. So let me get up and pour myself some water. It tastes like two paints. I'm just saying. All right, so let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have? This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Some are like in this. Moving forward, messages, guidance for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Some are like in Venus. Moving forward, what guidance do we have for Gemini? Some are like in Venus. Moving forward. All right, Gemini. We have miracles. So Gemini, I feel like fortune and miracles, I feel like you could have some miracles that are coming. Your fortune could be changing here. What messages do we have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have communion. <laughs> Yo, it's funny that that card came out because I don't know if y'all noticed, like I had to be still because I was receiving a message. And as soon as like 
the message came through, I got communion. So I do feel like some of you guys are communioning with some higher deities, with God, with some ancestors. They're talking to you. So I feel like you need to listen. All right. What messages do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Messages. All right. We got two. So the first one we have is humor. Then we have salvation in reverse. So I feel like for some of you guys, because humor can talk about seeing the bright side of things. Um, maybe some of you guys are no longer someone's salvation. Maybe now you can give up being someone's saving grace. Or humor can also represent it's like seeing the U U Uzumi, however you say her name. I think it's Uzumi. She is about seeing things realistically. So some of you guys are seeing realistically that you're not someone's savior. Um, maybe you're going to let them save themselves from now on. All right, with the underlying energy being assurance, I feel like now you're being assured that you're on the right path. So I do feel like you're lighting your own way and you're being assured that that is the right path. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all.